Okay, happy Friday. Best new thing in the world. The Motor City, the great city of Detroit, has produced lots of great cars, lots of great art, lots of great music over the years. And now the great city of Detroit has produced this. Behold the Light Dragon. This is the brainchild of two artists, Detroit-based artist Ryan Doyle and a Hong Kong-born artist named Teddy Lowe. It's called the Light Dragon. It is made entirely of salvaged metal and rubber and lights. It is apparently 60 feet long, and it weighs 17,000 pounds. It sits on top of a stripped-down 1963 Dodge dump, dump truck. It's equipped with 2,500 feet of color-changing LED lights. And because it is a dragon, naturally, it can breathe fire. No, really, it can shoot a 20-foot burst of flame through its dragon nostrils. That part is going to be really important later on in the story, so put a pin in that for a second. The city of Detroit, as you may be aware, is going through a bit of a rough stretch right now. The city filed for bankruptcy in July. They've been under the control of an emergency manager who makes all of the decisions regarding the city's finances. And that has rendered local democracy essentially dead in democracy. One of the things that emergency manager did in the city recently was that he hired Christie's Auction House to appraise the art that is housed inside the amazing and iconic Detroit Institute of Arts. The Detroit Institute of Arts is one of the country's greatest art museums. It has a world-famous collection of Rembrandts and Michelangelos and Diego Rivera's like you wouldn't believe. It is a truly incredible collection of art, and it is owned by the people of Detroit. It's municipal owned. The city owns the collection. It belongs to Detroit and its people. And when the emergency manager announced that he was having the entire place appraised to find out its cash value, like in case he was going to sell it off, Detroit started fighting back. And part of the way they have been fighting back is with art. And that is where the fire-breathing dragon comes in. Late last night, as the rest of the city was preparing to go to sleep, the LED-lit, 60-foot-long junkyard dragon, equipped with its own DJ booth on the back, rolled through the city of Detroit, pulled right up to the front lawn of the Detroit Institute of Arts, and as only a fire-breathing dragon can do, it left a simple message for Detroit's emergency manager about how the city feels about its art museum. Watch this. Save the art. If you're going to try to send a message to the powers that be in your city, that is one way to do it. Set your fabric-wrapped metal sign on fire with the flames you shoot 20 feet out of your dragon nostrils. The artists who created that performance stunt made their escape shortly after setting their protest sign alight. The sign was then extinguished by dragon artist supporters and also by the fire department. However you have been making your political case, however you have been trying to convey your political feelings, you need to know that out there somewhere, there are dudes in Detroit who are getting their political point across with fire-breathing LED 60-foot dragons that breathe fire and that have a DJ booth on the back. The bar has officially been raised, America. Step it up. That does it for us tonight. We will see you again Monday. Now, you must go to prison.